Hello, Suzanne, and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day so far. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Diana, and I am a Canadian expat living and working in Berlin, Germany for the last four years. And on my channel, I talk about the German culture, what it's like to live in Germany. I share with you tips from a fellow foreigner expat who has moved here. So if you're into learning about the German culture or you are planning your move to Germany, definitely make sure to stick around. But first off, I want to say a big thank you to all of you who left such awesome, supportive, and just genuinely really nice comments uh, on my last video, which was a vlog. I asked you guys if you liked the vlog that I did, the format, and you guys had some really positive responses on that. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you did miss the vlog, I will link it right over here so that you can check it out. If you want to get a glimpse into a weekend in Berlin and just get a sense of what the vibe of the city is, um, that vlog will definitely give you more insight into that. But for today, we are going to be talking about how to annoy Germans. I have definitely learned throughout my last four years how to press Germans' buttons, annoy them, get on their nerves, and honestly, I have done it by accident. But if you guys want to know how to annoy Germans or more so what not to do to annoy them, um, this video will definitely be helpful to you, especially if you are in the process of moving here and settling in. So yeah, let's talk about it. So first off, I want to talk about recycling here. I've made videos about this in the past and the reason why I talk about recycling in Germany is because Germans pride themselves on being very eco-friendly, having a great recycling program. So if you are a foreigner coming from a country that maybe doesn't have such a great recycling system or you're just not used to the way that things are done in Germany, it can definitely be a shock to you. I know it was a shock for me and I definitely annoyed a lot of Germans throughout my process of learning how to recycle properly. Believe it or not, there's a process to it and it takes some time to get used to, but it goes without saying that if you do not recycle properly, if you don't place items in the right bin or sort your garbage out properly, it definitely gets on Germans' nerves. It really, really annoys them. And this is not just from my experience, but I know many other expats, many other foreigners have experienced this as well. And Germans will have no problem calling you out um, whether it be in person or they will leave a sign outside of your building to let you know that you are not doing things properly and you're not following the recycling rules properly. So this is not to scare you <laughs> that you're going to get in trouble or anything like that, but just be aware that there's always somebody watching and even if you think nobody's going to catch you if you're not following the rules, somebody will, they will figure it out and you will be called out if you don't do it properly. And just to give you a mood here and tell you a bit more on you know, how this person was feeling, I'll read you a little um, snippet of this. So here we go. Number one. If the trash can is full, it's full. It makes no sense to throw your garbage to the floor. It's a dick move for you to just leave your stuff for others to throw out. Exclamation point. Another way to annoy Germans is by saying that their language sounds very harsh or it's not a nice language. Obviously, this is a very, very offensive thing to say if you are moving here and you're saying that the language sounds harsh to a German. Of course, they would be annoyed, but I think that Germans get more annoyed by this because of the stereotype. So if you ever mention, oh, I used to think that the language was very harsh or that it didn't sound nice, Germans really dislike this. I think Hollywood and the media has just portrayed Germans to have a super harsh, super um, rough sounding accent when in reality the language is not like that at all. If you actually surround yourself with Germans and hear it on a daily basis, it actually sounds quite nice. Um, nobody sounds like they're fighting or that they're in an argument or they're just angry. The language sounds very nice, so 
I know that obviously when, you know, the media portrays Germans to have this super rough accent and you bring it up, how you thought it was a harsh language, that it didn't sound nice, it definitely annoys Germans. So this just comes with, you know, not being ignorant <laughs> when you move here and just saying things because you heard it from somewhere else that may not be appropriate to say once you're actually here. Actually, what's really cool about the German language and if you want to get on a German's good side and not annoying them is you can say that their language is really practical or that there's a lot of useful words um, in the German language that actually English doesn't have and a lot of beautiful words as well to describe feelings and moments and times. I will leave some on the screen right now so you can see them. And yeah, having these words in English would be cool too because we just don't have them to describe certain things. All right, this one I've definitely <laughs> messed up on and I've said it more as a joke, but not really. I don't know, it's the way I feel, but naturally since moving here, I've discovered a lot of things. I've learned a lot about the culture. I've learned what you know Canada has versus what Germany doesn't have. And something that I constantly miss from back home is the food. I think the food in Toronto is amazing. It's a very, very multicultural environment and you can find foods from all over the place that are really rich in flavor and it's absolutely delicious. And I gotta say that Berlin at least doesn't match up with the food in Toronto. And I know that Berlin is obviously very multicultural, but even if you go to restaurants in Berlin or in Germany, um, there's this thing called German spicy, which is making food flavorful or tolerant for the German palate, which is not very spicy at all. Germans do not like a lot of spice or a lot of flavor in their food. And if you ever say that German food doesn't have any flavor or it's not spicy, for some reason, they get really, really offended by this. And I learned this recently through a TikTok that I did, and I did it sort of as a joke. If you guys are interested, I'll leave it down below and you guys can follow me over on TikTok. But I got so many hate comments about this and people got really, really defensive saying that the German food has a lot of flavor and I didn't know what I was talking about and it's probably just because I don't know how to cook. So yeah, comments were heated, people got offended, but I gotta say it, I stand by my theory here. German food does not have a lot of flavor and paprika is not enough. It's just not that flavorful and salt is also just not enough. So yeah, <laughs> that's definitely a way to annoy Germans. I have witnessed it myself. And yeah, it's just the way it is. I think Germans just have to come to the reality that their food is not as flavorful, at least compared to different cultures. Or if you come from a city that really likes a lot of spice and flavor as well. And then the last way that you can annoy Germans is by saying to them that you used to think Germans had no sense of humor. I personally find that Germans do have a sense of humor. Obviously, it's a different humor than I would be used to back home, but I find it funny and I totally understand it. But I think that just in general, it's a very, very big stereotype that they don't have a sense of humor. And for a lot of foreigners moving here, getting used to the culture, I can definitely see how maybe they wouldn't grasp the German sense of humor right away uh, because it's definitely very different. It's a bit more sarcastic. Um, it's a bit sometimes condescending too. So if you're not into that type of humor, it's gonna be harsh for you to take in. It's not gonna be the type of humor that's gonna have you, you know, dying and laughing on the floor and just like that gives you a, you know, stomach ache. You know when you have a really good laugh and you're like, you feel like you had an ab workout? It's not that type of humor. It's much more of a quirky, sarcastic type of humor, which I'm totally cool with. But if you're not used to it, then yeah, you may offend 
people or Germans by saying that they have no sense of humor. And I found that Germans actually make fun of themselves for this stereotype. I think it's a bit of a self-deprecating way or a way to protect themselves when it comes to this stereotype that they have. They will also say that Germans have no sense of humor, but I find that it hits different if a foreigner brings it up. Like, it's okay if they say it, if they make fun of themselves for it, but if you say it as an outsider, it's gonna lead to awkward convos. So I just wanted to put that out there and just know again that if you're moving here, it's gonna take you some time to understand the culture, to understand everything that's happening, you know, just in day-to-day -day life, like recycling, or just in the actual culture and mannerisms of people too. That takes some time to get used to, and that's why I make these videos, to hopefully make this transition as easy as possible for all of you who are planning to move here, or just got here, or in general are just curious about Germany and life here. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are in the process of moving here and you have questions about how to move here and you wanna talk about your specific situation, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So I'll go ahead and leave a link down below if you're interested in scheduling a time with me. And I also have some eBooks that you can check out to help you learn more about life here and how to actually move to Germany too. So links are always in the down bar. But thank you so much, you guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a like if you found it fun or you found it useful. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Tschüss.